This probe here, it's about half a meter long and it's connected to the signal generator. Uh, it's set to 14.02 MHz and 10 dBm. The probe is generating an electric field and here I have a soft rock. Uh, it's connected to an antenna far away through 80 decibels of attenuation to make sure that whatever we hear does not come from the antenna. And here I'm listening to the signal and this is the S meter. Uh, now I put my hand on the soft rock and you can see I like that and it brings up the signal level by about 5 dB. I can also hold the cable like that and it brings up the signal level a little bit also. Uh, the box is metal, uh, more than one millimeter thick aluminium. It's a good screen against magnetic fields, but it's not connected to ground on the PCB, so it does not protect from electric fields. You have provided two ground points. One is here and the other here. So they appear as wires sticking up through the board here and here. I have now grounded those points and it doesn't seem much better. You can look here. I put my hand on the box and you can see there are some sharp events. I hold on the cable. This has not much effect anymore. So this is not quite what I wanted. I now placed it on some aluminium foil and wrap it over like that. And now the signal is gone. So uh, the contact between the lid and the bottom of the box is not good enough. The ohm meter shows me there is no contact. Not, not here, from here, and from there to there. No. So both these are isolated. No wonder that it is not good and yet. I have removed the paint and I put lock washers. Uh, to make a safe, reliable connection. Now the signal is lower. Uh, more important, when I touch the cable, like this, it doesn't change much. Uh, why it is not better than this? That's because the lid and the bottom are not in very good electric contact. If I touch the lid, like that, you can see the signal goes down a little bit. If I touch the bottom like that, the signal goes up. So a couple of more screws would remove this, but I don't think it's important. This is going to be good enough for me. I have now replaced the grounding wires by capacitors. One here and one here and one here for the USB ground. I also added connectors here for the USB ground and another one here for analog ground. I want to use those when doing experiments with the sound cards later on.